Welcome to my basement! I was uh, recently looking at uh, one of LGR's latest videos uh, about the serene screen screensaver. Then it occurred to me that I for some reason have never implemented a real Windows screensaver. Even though I grew up with the CRTs in dire need of such uh, software. The reason I say real here is that uh, many people create uh, screensaver-like programs that can draw doodles in a frame, but uh, don't necessarily go the extra mile to make it a real screensaver that Windows recognize. So let's uh, try to do that! So the first learning point is that a screensaver is just an executable program, an exe file that's simply renamed to .scr. So let's look at one of my own favorite from back in the day, the 3D pipes. So I have downloaded the screensaver here and I will leave the link in the video description. Uh, let's unpack it. Okay. And we can see it's a type screensaver. And that it has the ending SCR. So let's uh, test uh, the theory and rename this to an exe. And uh, then we'll run it. So yeah, maybe not quite what you expected. Let's uh, learn about the hidden command line arguments our real screensaver need to support so that Windows can communicate with it. As we can see, if no argument or the slash C argument is given, it should display the config screen. If the P argument is supplied, it should display the preview. So uh, let's test that. So that didn't quite work, it uh, wants uh, something more, namely the handle to the window it should display its content into. So let's uh, give the program a window. So yeah, here we have created a preview window and we have uh, written the window handle to the command line. So let's uh, try to supply this information to the screensaver and see what happens. And look at that, it's uh, piping. And at last we have the slash s argument that will display the screensaver in all its full screen glory. So now that we know how it works, uh, let's make our own. As you can see, I have implemented a matrix rain screensaver using Pygame uh, that displays retro and gaming in the middle of the screen. This uh, code is based on the work of a YouTuber named uh, Coder Space. 
Once I had played enough with the code uh, so that I actually understood it, I was also able to change it and adapt it to be a real screensaver. I won't go through the code as my part at least is pretty well documented, but let's see how it works given the command line arguments. And after that we will tackle the problem that the python file isn't really an exe file. So let's first have a look at the config option. Yeah, it uh, just displays a frame with an image uh, telling you that uh, there are no configuration options. Then uh, we will uh, test uh, the preview option. As you can see, my preview version is using a smaller font than the normal screensaver mode, but uh, other than that, it's uh, pretty similar. And if you looked uh, closely, you probably noticed I didn't give it a window handle. And uh, yeah, that is optional in my code. Uh, but if you type something here, uh, then it uh, has to match up with a window. And this probably doesn't and the code will fail because that window handle does not exist. And lastly, there's the normal screensaver mode. To transform a Python file to an exe file, we can freeze it. At least uh, that's what we called it in the early 2000s when we did this at work. We used the CX freeze back then and it uh, worked great and they are still around and update their tool frequently. But apparently it doesn't uh, yet work with the latest version of Python, so I changed to p installer for this one. I already made a handy compile.bat file that will take all the work out of it, so let's create that exe file. Yeah, we have the final file already renamed to .scr. So once you have the finished screensaver, what remains is to put it uh, somewhere that uh, Windows can locate it, namely in the system32 folder. So we have put the screensaver in the correct place. Let's see if we can find it in Windows. Personalize. And we go to lock screen. And we find the screensaver setting. Let's close that. And uh, as you can see, this is where the screensaver is previewed in this frame here. Uh, if we look at the included bubbles, you can see how the preview work, uh, also how the settings work. There is no setting on this one and then we can preview it. So let's uh, see if it can recognize uh, our screensaver correctly. So matrix yeah, the preview looks uh, pretty good. Actually this is the first time it's uh, covering the entire preview area. Uh, normally it's just uh, one quarter so uh, happy about that. <laughs> not sure why it works on this machine and not on my laptop but uh, yeah. Let's see the settings. Yeah, no config for you. And then we have the preview, which will uh, 
show the screensaver in the normal mode, I guess. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, how you can make a fully functional screensaver for your Windows 11 machine. I know now how to make a screensaver. There are still some bugs related to the preview mode, but other than that, it works great. I'll uh, dive into the bugs after the outro of this video, and uh, yeah, maybe you can help me fix them. That's it for this episode. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I do hope to see you next time. Okay, so my screensaver still has uh, two bugs. Uh, apparently one of them are not present when I run it on this machine. Uh, but yeah, all are related to the setup of the screensaver and the preview mode. So as you can see, we have started the preview mode and we have one process running and it's uh, actually running in full screen in the preview mode. Uh, one of the errors is that only one fourth of the area available is filled with the, the preview. I will show a clip of that. And the second problem is that even though my program is able to insert graphics into this frame, uh, it does not receive the quit signal. So if I, for instance, press the settings and we get the setting window and then it will start the preview again when I close this. We see now that we have two processes running and you can also see in the preview that they are overwriting each other. So what's happening is that uh, the quit signal uh, from the parent window is not reaching my code uh, and it continues to run and it will just fork off a new process and a new process and uh, they will never be closed, basically. So even though I closed the screensaver settings window, you see that the processes are hanging because they have not received the quit signal. And the relevant part of the code is this one, uh, where we set up uh, that uh, the window handle we get from uh, Windows should be where we draw the graphics. But this does not take care of uh, the event handling, I guess, because we do not get the events uh, to our code. And uh, what basically happens is that we are running here, uh, waiting for the quit. But uh, since the since our code is not hooked correctly up to the window provided by Windows, uh, this never triggers and the process will continue to run until you kill it in Task Manager or reboot your computer. So yeah, if you have uh, any idea how to fix uh, one or both of these issues, uh, please let me know in the comments.